So good, good day to everyone, and welcome to week four, the League Benefits and Recognition. And as I've done just about every time, I like to start with a poll. It makes you wake up and get re-engaged with us. So our first poll today is talking about do you have some sort of a benefit program designed specifically for league bowlers? And we're not talking about awards that USBC would give away or something like that. We're talking about what does your center do? Do you offer anything at all? And I don't want to kind of prompt this. Just let I want to you, you you tell me. Do you give anything to your league bowlers? Wow, you guys are awake today. Good to see. We've got uh, almost 100% answering right off the bat. I think maybe making it a yes-no question gets you guys awake a little better than in the past. And I don't think this is going to surprise everyone when I show you the results here. You'll see that 90% uh, of you all already have a league benefit program of some sort going in your in on in your center today so what we want to talk about a little bit more is maybe getting a little bit more into the system of it all and how you can do uh, everything with your staff as we've talked about in the past of uh, what is a system and how your systems can free you up so again as we've talked about always opening these sessions because they are standalone sessions we talk about systems and why they're important and what and what why do they even matter and we also look at an overview of the overall program and what it is this is only takes a couple minutes and then we're going to put it into practice today again looking at specifically the league benefits and recognition piece of the league system of league bowling and then finally a couple takeaways and what you can do and put things into practice give you some examples of what we're talking about and maybe even though 90 percent of you are already doing something for your league bowlers maybe give you something new and maybe a new direction to go and maybe a little bit extra to separate yourself from your competition what again is a system just again the system is something that you can put into place to let you step away just a little bit. It helps you document and create unique ways of doing business in your business that is done consistently and predictably every day by every employee. In essence, systems let you run the business and people – start that again – let the systems run the business and the people run the systems. The people can come and go and you can plug in new people, but those systems need to remain constant. For a business owner, it's the system that sets you free, that you can then go on and work on your business rather than being working in your business. We all get paranoid when we want to go to Bowl Expo or Bowl Summit or, or any educational piece that you may have in your area from Bowling University. You want to go out there and you want to learn, but you feel like you can't step away from your center because you got things, if you step away, it all falls apart. Well, the systems allow you to step away, give the control over to somebody else. I get it. I'm a type A personality too. I want to be in control, but you control the system not the individuals. And again, we talk about working on your business and not so much in your business. And if you're right now working 100% in your business, we want to get you down to 90% so you can work 10% on your business. If you're already working 90% on your business and 10% in your business, well, let's get that all the way down to zero. So our whole goal is wherever you are on that spectrum of working on your business versus in your business, we want to grow the percentage that you get to work on your business and grow your business every day in, uh, in your business. Think about it. Who uses systems already? Corporate-owned locations, franchise locations. You think about any of the franchise models, whether it be Chick-fil-A and their customer service standard that they have. Anytime you ask anything at Chick-fil-A, what do they say? It's our pleasure. It's not – I'll get it. No, it's, it's my pleasure. So that's a standard that they put in place. That is a system. That's how they do things. Or it's the corporate model where every location has to do the exact same thing. Well, why doesn't bowling have it? 
Well, we're a small industry. We're only 10% of it's corporate owned. We don't have a lot of, uh, if you think about it, we all talk about how we have one large company. They, they really can't affect us all that much. They're only 10%. When you hear the large people complaining about that particular uh, corporate model, they, it's only 10% of the business. This small business, you and I working in our business every day, that is 90% of the business. In our league board development system that was created by the, the committee, they came up with all these little uh, modules that they broke out. And from league structure, which we already talked about, we've talked about staffing, we've talked about marketing, and today we're going to come back and talk about league benefits and recognition. And we have still two more weeks, so we'll talk about some more. Just to show you really quick what we're talking about, when you go to the BPAA.com website, if you haven't been there before yet, you want to get to the membership section and in there under the second tab, column one over here on the left, column two, column three, you click, oops, sorry about that, click column three, you have the lead development guide. If you haven't logged in when you do, it's going to say this is a members only section. You must be a BPA member to get to this section. Really hard to remember how to do this. It's your BPA number. Just type in your BPAA number and type the word BPAA as your password. Just for convenience, I'm gonna log in as me here at the office. And it brings up the materials to download. You see the download materials, you have downloadable samples that you can also click on. The, the one we were gonna we're gonna do today is actually League Benefits. Just click it, and it brings it right up for you, and you can actually have that. You can do that the way I just did it, or if you look in your handout section here on your control panel that you have with this webinar, you can actually download that piece. If you're watching this after we've recorded it, you'll have to do this website piece that I just showed you, and these are here for you. And don't forget the download samples that come with it. When you bring the samples up, you can see all of these different ideas, downloadables, for you and this is a living breathing document that you can uh, you'll see updated on a regular basis so don't forget to come back and look at that over the next several months I'm sure it'll continue to change so let's take a look at our our league benefits and recognition I could go all day on this one and I've just picked two little quick hits as we call them uh, for this we're going to start with the league benefit program itself, and then we're going to talk about multiple league incentives because it's a little different today. You used to see people bowling in multiple leagues all the time, so it, 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 it's not something you see as much today. What can we do to incentivize them to do that? Free time's not as, as common, so we want to do something to help them uh want to bowl that extra that session we don't want them bowling as extra session because they felt compelled to or you talked them into it we want them to want to and we're going to get to that so let's talk about some benefits and we're going to talk about two different types of benefits internal benefits and external benefits when you start talking about internal benefits that's things that you can offer the whole premise of any league is, it, is that if it's well organized and the guest is having a great experience it's vitally important that they know uh, that they'll have a, uh, a element of, of socialization and fun, and, and, it, and it, there's a reason to be there. So we want to try to look at what is going to be their uh, reason for coming back. So let's think about internal benefits. And when we talk about benefits, I, I can break this down a little more, but we want to think about what's in it for them, the whiff them, if you will. Internal league benefits are awarded for bowling in a specific league. That's this league, they get something. When you're talking about a benefit league, you want to have an understanding of what incentives would motivate the people to join that specific league or, or any league for that matter. Is it something that they may not be able to get something else somewhere else? Uh, is it something that they can't get at a great price uh, that you're off that, that they, that's offering? Is it exclusive to this league? Uh, is it something that is trendy or contemporary, hot uh, and worthwhile, or can they get it without bowling uh, at the price you are offering it? You know, so, so when you think about these, where's your mind going? Just think about it for a second. Where are you in your mind when I say all these questions? Is it something that they can think about that will enhance their lifestyle? Uh, it, will they miss it? Will they feel like they really missed out on this great deal? 
with this internal benefit. So I've kind of painted a picture for you, and if you're anywhere, if you've been in the industry for a while, you might land on uh, something like a, uh, uh, oops, sorry, didn't bring those up. Um, would there be a value add? What's the benefit? What's their, what's their premium? So when you're thinking about, let me bring this up. There you go. Are you thinking about vacation leagues, casino day trips? Are you thinking about NASCAR leagues, tickets to a race? Uh, how about maybe there's a package where there's uh, autograph and food vouchers from local professional or minor league sports teams? Do you think about what you can do in partnerships with the uh, – uh, the local community. So we're talking about these people are, these are internal benefits to this league only. If you bow in this league, you get restaurant, restaurant coupons. If you bow in this league, you get iTunes gift cards. I've even seen lottery leagues where, and again, we're using the league as a, as a, as a program here. If you're going social like that, this might be a club. You don't have to call it a league. You can think of different ways to bring people in uh, to your, into your business. This might be something that you're bringing in the 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 casual bowler into something they're more committed to. It might be something that's short but more more costly. It might be twenty dollars a week, nineteen ninety nine or whatever, and then they bowl for a shorter number of weeks. But there's something going on. I uh, love the immediate gratification program where you get some scratch offs for the lottery, and then each week that you bowl, you get your you get another another couple tickets to a big big prize at the end. So think about what you can offer as internal benefits. These are things, again, that they might not be able to get anywhere else. Something that it's a great price that you're offering as an exclusive. So when they do the math, they're like, oh, wow, I get to bowl for free because I'm getting this. I'm bowling for free because, hey, I was going to get that anyways. Or what an experience that I would get that I wouldn't get elsewhere because I get to go to a, a minor league ball game or I get to go to a hockey game or I get to go to uh, an NFL football game, depending on your market. Just Just thinking about all of those options. So we move from internal benefits to external benefits. What are external? Well, these might be benefits that uh, that your most frequent customer gets, that they're, they're profitable customers. You, maybe you offer this to every league. Maybe you offer it to everyone. And this might be when you answered yes, this is more likely what you probably answered yes to. So we're looking at the, the dollar discount games uh, before league starts or discounts off league regular price of at any open play times. Uh, well, or free games is a popular incentive during the summertime where, hey, if you join a summer league, you get three free games bowling every day uh, during the summer or you get uh, three three free games on the day your league bowls, but you get uh, two free games on any other day. Um, and maybe there's some gift cards. If you're more of an FEC model, maybe you offer some game cards for your gaming. Uh, think, think about things that are offered inside your bowling center. So the most common are obviously discounting our, of our league bowling because we're not missing anything. Maybe you're doing a, a league appreciation and you have a card. Have you? Do you do a... a a card during the slower months, maybe October, September. We don't often think about those months because that's that gap where leagues are kind of getting on the floor. We still have some our open plays usually down just a little bit at that time. It's something that you can put in. It's a nice sample that's from the, the league program that we have here. You can download some of these samples. We thank Sunset Lanes for letting us use this program. And you can see for every day of the month for September, October. And if you when you go to do downloads, you'll see they also have a summer version of the same card. So they can come in and get a punch. And the nice thing about that when they bring these punch cards back, you can see how many they're being used. So maybe you instruct your staff in a system you put in place that hey if this person has 10 boxes checked over the month of September, we need to offer something a little extra for them. Or, hey, flag me, come get me. I'd like to come thank them for coming in so many times. Because you know, if they're coming in to bowl that one free game of bowling, they're not spending just that bowling there with you. They they want to. They'll be spending some beverage time, or maybe even some game room time. 
And even if, think about this now, if they don't utilize the card, it's still a perceived value that they had there that they may not even have used. So when you think about offering this, you have to think there's going to be a good amount of not being used of the program. With a, little, a couple more external benefits additional benefits we might have. And I think some of you do this. I, I know that this would be uh, so, a, a scenario that I would create pretty quickly if I had, it was in a center. I might raise the food and beverage prices so that all league bowlers get uh, a discounted discounted rate, 10% off for being a league bowler. This is another very common program that uh, you can have. Now you can turn that league, you can turn that food and beverage external benefit into an internal benefit. You can actually create a league that that league gets a special, and that's what that that's their special of. This league gets pizza and a pitcher of beverage, uh, whether it's an adult beverage or a kid's beverage, it's up to you. Maybe there's pizza and beverage that that league only gets as a discount uh, throughout the. Uh, the course of the league, whether it's eight, 10 weeks, it's a pizza and beer league, uh, something to that nature. So I heard one just yesterday. I was at a state show and they talked about the, uh, if you remember the old Miller commercial that had uh, Bubba Smith in there, look great, uh, less filling, tastes great, less filling, test great, tastes great. It was a doubles league and every person got a either less filling or tastes great t-shirt so one of the people on the team got to be less filling the other one gets to be taste great and every week they got a miller beer uh special was offered thought it was a great promotion uh there's an aha moment in that maybe you offer discounts to tied to birthdays think about do you do you accentuate your league bowlers birthdays do you send them a notice thanking them for uh for bowling with you and you promote uh, a special for them to come in and get a discount either on birthday parties or on their birthday they get a, they get a free uh a, a free combo meal or something to that nature you're trying to make them feel special maybe you do some sort of a, a points accumulation program where you partner with other businesses in your community and you offer them uh, a, a, a card that you do a trade out, you give something to Applebee's and Applebee's gives you some from meal discounts where you can give them some uh, a break in their program. Maybe you uh, give them the opportunity to have a discount where they get a uh, 15% discount or a $15 discount off of their birthday party for their kids where they feel that they get they get something a little special. Um, maybe you do discounts in your pro shop. You offer a discount there. Oh, another one that I heard over the weekend that I throw in here was maybe you uh, uh, have, they get a, a, a parking spot in your, that's reserved for the, uh, for a, a league bowler birthday. Uh, when they sell by a, uh, league bowlers buy a birthday party for their kid. They have a special spot that they get to park that's reserved for them for when they when they come. Oh, that, oh, that take a, uh, an orange cone to stick in a spot so when they show up, you pull the cone out of the way. Just just so they feel special when they come in. And uh, maybe there's a buy twenty five dollars worth of uh, of points in the game room and you give them five dollars free. Just thinking about all of those things that you can offer for your staff that are external to the league, but makes them feel special in their center. And I'm gonna open up the mics here when we finish. I'd like to hear some of your great ideas. If anybody's got one, raise your hand and I'll open up your mic and I'd like to hear what you might have to say. But think about all the things you can do in partnerships with your local community. Those are the ones that are probably the biggest forgotten pieces to it all but but now that we've got let's say we've got this thing in place and, and you feel like you can execute it you got a system in place that your staff knows how it works well how do we market this program how do we let this the the, the staff and the, and the bowlers know what's going on uh, so what is the benefit of bowling in that league versus or bowling center for that matter versus bowling in another center or not even bowling at all so what is that um, that benefit? And, uh, and, and just a little sidebar here, because I can take an entire, entire, more than a session, an entire uh, module for you and talk about benefits versus features. When we start talking to our, our 
our our customers about the benefits and this is something we teach in the inside sales course through the online program is there's a significant difference between features and benefits benefits are the with them what's in it for them when you when you get a good car salesman they're not saying that it has AC and it has automatic transmission and it has Bluetooth radio no they're saying won't it won't it sound great when you hook your iPhone up to this the Bluetooth radio Aren't, isn't that going to awesome? You get to listen to your music. So there's the benefit for them, not that it has Bluetooth. It's that, that there's a benefit to them. That they, so we got to think about what are those benefits and how is it going to help them in their life? What's in it for them? Not a laundry list of the features. Like I said, I can get on that sidebar all afternoon. Once you decide uh, what that package is, you need to follow these real simple steps. I'm a step. I'm a simple steps guy. Uh, so meet with the staff. They need to know before whatever that league or club, whenever that one's starting, or or if you've got the fall season, summer season, if you don't do a lot of mid-season leagues, you want to list out. You want to meet with your staff and, and let them know what the benefit package is. And then we want to list the benefits, not a laundry list of the features, but what's in it for the bowlers. What's going to move their needle? What's going to get them to, to bowl with you and not bowl with someone else or bowl and rather than not bowling at all? And then in a little foreshadowing to our next session, we're going to have two weeks from today, talk about communication. We need to tell our league officers and the team captains and get them on board and understand, get them to understand the benefits. And then finally, we communicate it to everyone. Start with the staff, then to our officers and team captains, and then we tell everyone. Again, this is a system that you can put in place and let you step out of the system. And then all you got to do is manage the system and make sure that it happens. But ultimately, we want to make sure that the message is crystal clear. It, you want to communicate it to the league that, that your benefits package clearly and frequently. I would say the rule is that we've learned is the rule is you need to tell them seven times before they've heard it. So if you tell them week one, you need to tell them week two, three, four, five, six, and seven, two, that they know that it's going on. So if you team, tell them in the league meeting and you tell them when they come to bowl their first week of bowling, you still got five more weeks you need to tell them about that program so that they know that this is something that they're there for. And if you're trying to recruit them, you need to tell them seven times before they actually join that league. You got to get it out there and you got to let them know what's coming. So just running out of time, but I want to let you know that you need to take care, extra care of those, those people who bowl in multiple leagues. You need to identify your multiple league bowlers and have specific marketing and incentives to target them. If you're trying to get people to join more, if you, but I'm sure you've already got people there, so you got to be thinking about who you have. So you want to identify those league multiple bowlers and create a profile of that multi-league target. Who potentially could bowl in more leagues? Is it males or females in your facility? Are they advanced? Are they skilled bowlers? You know, what's do they like to bowl for 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 some money? Are they the competitive types? Uh, typically they are, uh, but not. You may have somebody who bowls socially more than one week, one, once a week. Maybe, maybe some of these people are bowling on a, a ladies' league on uh, on the daytime, and, and maybe they have kids. Maybe they'll come bowl a youth adult on Sunday afternoons. You know, do they come and bowl with their friends when they're out there casually? Well, maybe they're they're going to bowl a, a competitive league, and maybe they're going to bowl but one with their friends. You need to be thinking about: Do they consider themselves a, an aficionado, or are they just there to come out and 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 gamble? Um, or, or what what are some of the other things that they do in their lives that you can think about? So when you think about that profile, I think of uh, that television show, what is it, where Criminal Minds, where they're profilers. They're trying to get inside the brain of the people. So if somebody has a lot of equipment, if they've got all the equipment, are they only bowling in one league? Don't you think they might want to bowl a second league? So you think about that. And when you think about your multiple uh, bowlers, we want to be thinking about their uh, what kind of incentives do you have for these specific people, the people who are bowling uh, in them? What's going to what's going to matter to them? Are they economic rewards? Are they achievement 
rewards are because there's a difference between awards and recognition. Are we giving them something? Are we recognizing them? Is it competition that they're looking for? Are they looking to be challenged a little bit? Talking about maybe your sport leagues and your PBA type leagues? Or is it just simply camaraderie that they're looking for? Are they spending want to spend time with their friends? So you want to have incentives that target that profile when you think about this. So you can actually get something very specific in play instead of trying to be something for everyone, you can get very specific to just this one group. You know, we talk about the league formats, enticing customers to join a second league, but it's important to remember that you have some that are already there. And what are you going to do for them? So you need to have a multi-league multi, -bow, a multi bowlers that are it program that's above and beyond the normal benefits. So if you're offering 10% for somebody who bowls in just one league, what if you're off the off the snack bar food? What are you doing for the the person who who bowls multiple leagues? What do you got there for them? Do you do you have a a drink cup that they can bring every time and refill for a dollar? I mean, is there something that you're doing specifically? How'd you get that cup? Well, that's because I bowl in two leagues. Oh, okay. Well, they need to stand out and have that separate piece that they offer. So again, these are quick hits. We're trying to stimulate your brain. This is just two pieces of a longer piece in the league benefits program. That, that's a 30-some page uh, program, and we hope that uh, you'll take the time to download it and get a little more in-depth on that. I do have a couple questions that have come in, so let me see if I can take a look here and see what we've got for us. Uh, haven't left as much time for question and answers as I've had in the last, past couple weeks. But I have one here. It's not so much a question as it's a statement that they have a ladies league uh, was getting older and consisted of mostly coffee and water drinkers. We added half price mixed drinks and the payoff was a younger group of bowers joining who spent more money. Oh, I like this one already. Had more fun and created an upbeat atmosphere for the rest of the center compared to the old moan and groan that was going on before we did it. What a great idea there, Lou. And we thank you for sharing that with us because all it was is we tr you got a younger crowd by offering just one something. Now, you got to be careful about the mixed drinks in your market. You may not be able to offer the half price. Make sure you check with your local ABC rules. But there in his state, obviously, it wasn't a big deal. And we have another one here that says uh, they're doing business card listing, all the, best bus all the benefits that the league bowlers get from us and the benefit uh, to them for signing up new bowlers into a league. And I remember you talking about this a couple weeks ago in our other thing to talk about the, uh, the benefits and using the recruitment tool that you've done before. Um, it makes them feel that they're, they're part of a group and then they, uh, and, they, and they feel a reward for signing up new bowlers. Both really good things, and thank you for uh, mentioning those to us, Lou. Uh, does anybody else have any that they can offer and share to the group? We'd love to have it. Uh, raise your hand and I'll, or send me a, uh, a note, and I'll open up your mic, and we'll gladly do that. Now you're all a bunch of shy folks today on this lovely afternoon. Uh, we hope that you continue to have uh, growth in your league programs, and we'll see you back on December 1st that uh, we'll, we'll pick this program back up after the holiday week. I'm out of town, so next week, uh, we'll take next week off. The following week is the holiday week, so we'll give you that week, and we'll return December 1st with communications. It starts putting all this stuff back together. The uh, uh, the piece will, uh, with communication, then we'll finally be back on December 8th for our final week. Be sure to tell your friends to join us for each of the last two sessions. Reminder that this will be posted on the bpa.com through the Bowling University website, so you can uh, download and view this again or share it with somebody else. And we'll be glad to uh, post this one here. I usually have them posted in the next half an hour, but you're already registered for the next two sessions. But if you need to, Hit somebody else from your Bowen Center, make sure they register with us too. Again, thank you for joining us for our quick hitting webinar series. We'll see you in two weeks.